Hi, welcome back to the series on Prepare Marimba. Today we're going to look at aluminum foil placed directly on the bars. There's a lot you can do with aluminum foil. It's one of my favorite preparations. Um, and in addition to what I'm going to show you today, you can obviously experiment with different mallets. I'm going to keep to the same mallets. You can also experiment with um, how many sheets you're going to put down. So I'm also going to just stick to one for this video. Uh, but what I am going to experiment with uh, is the idea of uh, tightness. So if I'm wrapping a bar, and so it's a tighter fit, or if I'm just going to put a sheet over. And, and then I'm also going to just have a single bar covered, but, but not wrapped. Uh, and then I'm also going to take that, I, that same idea and move it up the octave or up the registers um, of the marimba. All right, let's get started. So um, first I'll just play. I'm going to start with C2. On the node. Play on the center. All right, so we're getting this great wash of sound, a really nice um, uh, splash, really, uh, and a great sustain. Uh, and now what I've done here, it's just a little bit higher up, but still in the same general vicinity. I've just covered one bar. And what I originally thought was, um, it had to do with, with the length of the sheet. That's part of it, but the reason why it doesn't have that same sustain as well is that it is more tightly wrapped. You get that same great rattle, um, but then what I did was I took just a single uh, bar and I, I placed a thinner strip of aluminum foil. And even though the sustain isn't as long, um, and obviously this is up an octave, uh, it's It's still a little bit longer than if I individually wrapped the bar. So that's something to think about. Um, the other reason why you might want to consider individually wrapping bars is if you just want to affect that bar, but you have to be really careful you're not touching the two side bars. Even then you still might get a sympathetic vibration. So, okay, in this case you're not. Oh, it's touching slightly, let's see. Um, and what I mean by sympathetic vibration is it's not a completely pure sound. You're still hearing a little bit of the resonance from the aluminum foil in the bar next to it. All right, let's go up uh, to F3. And so I've covered uh, a smaller area. So here I have five notes covered. Here I'm going from F3 to B3. Let's listen to that. So you get that nice rattle. Let's try on the node. So I tend to get more of a sustain if I'm not striking obviously on the node. Whether I'm striking directly on the aluminum foil or not. So that's something interesting to note. And let's just play the F off the octave, compare the two difference. All right, so we're getting a longer sustain. Obviously, this is a lower register, and we're also using a, a larger sheet of paper. Uh, all right, so now, um, again, in this, in this octave, uh, let's try with that just one prepared bar versus the looser sheet. So here, the difference isn't as profound as that's here. Something to consider. And then I'll take just a single loose sheet. So in this octave, it does seem to make a difference, um, not only if, if the aluminum foil is loosely put on, but also if you have maybe a longer sheet, so you'll get a little bit more sustain, is my experience, but again, try for yourself. And finally, we're up here. Now my experience with aluminum foil is, personally, I find past C5, this, these upper two octaves, not so satisfying for sound. But you still get some kind of timbral difference. So let's just hear what that sounds like. A 
And again, that's the sheet that's from F5 to C6. And here is an individual note. Just get a little uh, uh, more on the, on the attack, a small difference in sound. And finally, a loose, a loose smaller piece. And not really very much at all there. And I would have to tape that down. All right, so that is aluminum foil on the marimba bars. And again, I was, I was saying you can experiment with how much you use um, if you wanna use just a smaller piece. For example, unwrap half of a bar or maybe even the node. And there's just a lot you can do with aluminum foil. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of a longer series on the prepared marimba. So feel free to subscribe to my channel and to check out those other videos. See you there. Bye.